Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, you know it's your boy Anime King and today You guys destroyed light goal for it, yes you destroyed light goal So I'm gonna be giving you part 7 of what if Deku was a villain So remember to like, subscribe, comment down below and give this one 30 likes as well and you get part 8 So without further ado let's get straight into what if Video intro. Oh man, you left me alone and broke every promise you ever made. I was an ocean lost in the open. Nothing can take the pain away. So you can drown me to the world. Tomorrow I will come back. Leader of the whole back. Paint me black and blue. Everyone will shake me. Every scar will build my throne. So last time we left off, Deku has changed his outfit, yeah changed his costume totally with uh, all my face under the X with the black hoodie, yeah so Deku has totally snapped and gone off the evil side. Midway, yes, his mother decided to slap All Might because All Might was a fault and everything. You guys need to go watch the other part, oh, you need to go watch the other part before you watch this because I've gotten far in this episode so you guys need to go watch the other part. So Deku and the rest of the villains came to the training camp where the kids are going to be this time class 1A and class 1B but it was all a setup yes the heroes decided to create a setup I'm gonna you're gonna be learning why why we go along so Deku now and the villains came there there was a lots of villains and all for one was there Deku was there so there was a lot of villains yeah but the heroes are quiet yeah there are lots of heroes too and plus there are lots of heroes kids there are lots of kids there yeah class 1a and class 1b so uraka has spoken to deku in the alley in in the other part yeah and deku told that he would never go back to the good side because he wants to take all my out of the picture but so the villains had to spread out and cover all the areas and they had to attack the people like the normal kids and those things but the heroes like pro heroes are there so even the giant girl mount lady and the three heroes that control the roots yeah so they could like hold off the normal villain but they could like hold off all fun and those guys but they could hold off the normal villain and like the other seven villains one the razor and those guys so right now deku and alpha and togarashi went straight for the big house like the house in there all my was there so they went for the house and all my came stepping up and said hmm, you guys really showed up kid i'm talking to you your mother is worried about you she needs you to go back home and quit this silly agenda for trying to take me out because it won't end, it won't end good for your kid. But before Deku came here, all for one decided to like upgrade his powers. Yeah, so Deku powers is gotten even stronger. All for one has given given Deku even more strength and endurance. So yeah, Deku is gotten even stronger. He is the uh, light up to all my level now. So this battle is gonna be exquisite. So right now all my said You need to just come kid and give up on this city agenda of destroying me. It won't end wisely for you. Your mother miss you. She cries and mourns for you. Because you decide to join the League of Villain. And give up on your one hope. I know I was the one that told you to give up on your dream. But those times you didn't have a work. You didn't have a good responsibility. You could have gotten hurt. But now you finally get a quirk. And you decide you so evil. What kind of hero are you? And Deku said. I am the hero you turned me into. I am the one that's going to put you down. No matter what you say. Or what you do. I'm gonna take you out. All might. I'm gonna show everybody in this world that you're no hero. And none of these pro heroes are heroes neither. 
I need all my silo cake. They're gonna take me out. If you guys manage to beat me, what after that? What? What will become of this world? What about your mother? Your friends? What about everyone? And they who's it? They will all come to see the new world that we are creating. They will all be happy in this world. Rid of you, villains. No, we are not the villains anymore. You are all might. We are just on a different side. And all oh my son. Kid, you totally gone. You I can't bring you back anymore. Guess I just have to take you in. Yeah, guess I just have to take you in. Because all oh my wanted to bring Deku to that person now. To like knock him out and bring him back. And Deku said to me. You still think that you're the number one hero in this world that you're the strongest one you still think that so that who now his body started to just swell up here yeah. like his veins started to pump yes his veins started to pump his body because that was getting angry and there's a vein in his forehead and that who all for one said kid easy and that who just launched it all night all for one of shock and see how strong he's got an E. Never know that this little upgrade that when he gave Deku more power, it would be so dramatic. But Deku has been trained on his own and making his own power get stronger, so it just multiply a lot. So Deku launch it all night now, and Deku went straight up all night and punch all night right in the jaw, punching up in the air. All night didn't want to go all out, but all night found out that Deku is as strong as him yes Deku's getting like his strength is rivaling all my strength so all might has to push himself now yeah all might has a fight back like a real like he's fighting someone like he wants to hurt he can't hold back on anything so while Deku and all might is fighting Uraka run came over there yeah she ran over there and said Deku and then all might said no get out of here and then Uraka said, no Deku, what are you doing? You can't go through with this. You will only destroy yourself and your life. Please. Please don't go through this. You will destroy everything you built so far to become a good hero. If you go through this, your life will be over. And Deku said, go away. But Deku ended up turning and looking at Uraka to say go away. And all men end up punch him square in the face to go fly down into the ground and Uraka is shocked to see how hard All Might is fighting back and Deku end up just like pushing himself off the ground and fly straight up to All Might and two of them are collaging in the face their fists are sending ripples through the air like the earth they're in they're like fighting like trees they're like jumping on trees and those things but their fists are sending ripples on the earth yeah the place is like shaking, that's how strong the both of them are. So, two of them is collaging face back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, till the both of them getting tired and Deku now, Deku decide to like kick All Might, but Deku miss and All Might end up like stepping back a little bit and Deku want to like kick him in the face or something, but Deku end up kicking him inside and All Might wound, yes, All Might wound start to bleed. And Deku saw how troubled he was by this kick. And Deku said, huh, I guess you do have a weakness. So Deku started to focus most of his attack on that one point and bringing All Might down. Yeah, Deku is over All Might now, beating the crap out of All Might because Deku is focusing all his attack on that one point. So now All Might is on the ground. Yes, All Might is on like his two knees. And Deku end up punching him, screwing the face, and just keep punching him. And then All for One wanted to go in to finish All Might because All for One wanted to be the one to finish All Might. But Deku end up stopping, and All for One looks at him and think that Deku is showing some kind of remorse. But Deku looks at All Might and says, Look at you now. You're so weak and pitiful. I could end you. And then Deku said, you know what, I won't do it here. Deku grabs All Might by the back of his shirt and 
pull him. Deku ended up pulling All Might where everyone was fighting. And Deku just fling him in the middle of everyone fighting. Everyone stopped. And shocked to see that Deku was treating All Might like he's nothing. And then everyone looks at All Might. And everyone hope is this beginning to like disintegrate. And one of the villains had a video camera. And they decided to stream the event live on like every TV. They hacked in some TV system or something. And they who was on the camera knows everything. This is your hope. This is all of your hope, your symbol of peace. Look how weak he is. You see, there is no more hope in this world. Only thing is left is to destroy this old world and build a new one. Create a new society where we are in charge. But to do that, we first must get rid of this poison out of this world. And the whole mother was watching the TV and she started crying because she saw that Deku has totally snapped. So right now Deku grabs all my bad throat, lift him up in the air and Deku grabs his fist. And but guys on the end right here if you wanna see part seven of this you know what to do like sub I mean part eight if you wanna see part eight of this you know what to do like subscribe comment down below turn on that bell notification stay posted but I'm out for now guys peace